Hello, I'm Pablo Montes, and I'd like to explain what is CPA. But before explaining what is CPA, I'd like to explain why do we need it. And I'm going to do it with an example. Okay? So we have uh, this repair shop. Uh, it has two buildings, and these two buildings are connected with a footbridge. Each one of the buildings has different workstations. They have a small warehouse and they have an entry point where they get and deliver the assignments. The thing is that technicians in here are being assigned a different workstation continuously. So they start working in one, they have to move to another, then have to move to another in the other building. So it's difficult to be working like that. They also don't have control in which entry point they have to get and deliver the, the assignments. So maybe they are working in one building and they are getting the assignment in the opposite building and they don't have control of which warehouse they have to use to, to go to search for the spare pieces and they do not know where the spare pieces are inside that uh, such warehouse. So this is highly inefficient. The technicians are going to spend a lot of time changing from one workstation to another one. They are going to be spending a lot of time going through the, through the footbridge. So this situation is not optimal at all. Why am I using this example? Because that's exactly what happens by default when you run an application in a server. This is uh, a server with two processors. The processors are connected between them. Each processor has access to memory and have access to interface uh, network card, network interface card. The thing is that if we run an application here, by default, the operating system scheduler is gonna tell us to run uh, for a certain time in one CPU, then in another, then in another, and we are going to keep changing. If we have an application that is intensive in the use of the network interface card, we want to have the CPU pin, we have to have assigned CPU, so we are not moving. We also want to have assigned memory, pin in the memory, so we are going to be using few pages, and, and we want to use an interface dedicated interface card or at least a piece of a dedicated interface card that belong uh, to the same processor so we are not using this path at all so in this situation our application has the maximum performance but i did not say anything about epa what is cpa the thing is that in this situation we don't need epa our application is running directly in the server we have seen how the server looks and we have pin that we want to use this CPU, this memory, and we're using this interface, this dedicated interface. But when we have a, a virtualization layer, when we are running a virtual machine, when we are running a container, we do not have this visibility and we do not have this control of the physical resources. So in principle, our application cannot be that efficient. That's why we use EPA. EPA stands for Enhanced Platform Awareness are uh, some techniques that allow us that the virtual machine or the container are being pinned to physical resources. So when being in a container or in a, or in a virtual machine, the physical resources underneath are gonna be arranged in this way. So our application is gonna get maximum performance even being in a virtualized environment. So using EPA in these situations where our application is very intensive in input output is something critical.